We're already seeing another one of the seven deadly sins, and boy, does he look epic as fuck. Right at the end of this episode, we get to see Ba and the Sin of Greed, and he is going to show that night Jericho what sort. Gotta say, it's one at the start of this episode, very intense get to Diane literally throwing Gil Thunder like, into like another city, and he just brushes it off to something. So it definitely shows definitely that these two are going to have a very, very strong competitive nature between him and Meliodas, because definitely more what we see is like, he has his big vengeance against him. He's like, it's going to take more than that to beat me, Melly Otis. And it's like, shocking to see that Melly Otis in this episode was actually passed the fuck out. He actually literally passed out after like they were traveling because it's like, okay, one of them is like in the city of the dead, but like King. And then the net other one we got to go and see is like, he's like in a prison right now. And that's where Barn is. And Barn's just like in this prison looking like Jesus with his like beard, like all these like giant, like metal stuff date things in his like arms and his legs like that and it was just like so beast with him at the end so when he just like ripped him out like nothing and then he had Jericho like slashing him and it's like literally just so he could get cut on his freaking beard and it's like oh it seems like my friends are coming out right now like it's like god damn Barn why are you so awesome why is like the Sin of Greed so awesome I really want to see more of him in this anime because he seemed absolutely awesome those mentions what we guess we like meet the baddies of this little arc and all that that we see it's called um weird thing and to be honest like we also met the other one Jericho as I was saying earlier and, eh, and like, they're not exactly like intimidating they're like just holding down Barn it's like it seems like Barn could just get out whenever he fucking felt like it it was like huh I just heard you know my friends are here so yep I'm just gonna get out of here anymore because you know it's like his wolves just healed so I was like oh gonna go in there like it seems like Jericho is kind of intimidating but it's like these other ones like it's like uh, they seem so, like, the usual kind of villains that you get, and I just didn't really care for them. I was like, oh, one of them, like, had, like, a giant bug or something like that that was just, like, attacking the sea with, like, acid rain, and I did, right, respect that Elizabeth and also, as well, Diane were actually going into the sea, like, and Diane was getting booed out pretty much like that because everyone was tired, like, terrified of her because she was, like, a giant, and, like, saying, oh, no, we'll go and do it, you know, me and, like, we'll, we'll go and get, like, the medicine for him, and it's like, it's kind of tragic to see that like, everyone treats like Diane like that, and it even felt a little bit more about her when she like see her backstory about her. Where actually Meliodas is like the first person that really treated her like a normal person. It's like, oh, you're a giant or anything, because you know Meliodas don't care for anyone. He don't care what race you are, like what type of species you are. You know, like if anything's wrong, he will accept anyone, and that's the sort of person he is. And that's what made like Diane fall for him, and it's like when I'm around him it makes me feel like a normal girl, but I know that's just a dream because that's, it's kind of sad that her dream is like something that she could probably never accomplish because she is a different species compared to Meliodas. And it's just very hard to love someone who's like that size and you're like literally the size of skyscraper. But though I really did love this part when she was like, oh, I'm scared of bugs. And what does she do? I'll do anything for the captain and smashes the ground. And then you just see all these giant like stones just come out of the ground. And it's like just crush all those bugs in the media. I thought she was going to do some like armored titan stuff when she was like running into like the actual pr prison like that because she was like getting ready. And I was like, we're going to see her take down those walls really soon. But other than that, yeah, it was a kind of all right episode. Like, fuck that doctor at the end. I just want to say that him, like, poisoning Meliodas, saying, like, he will never wake up again like that. As he's, like, one of those weird thing members showed to, like, take Elizabeth. It's like, so, yeah, they're just there just to pretty much take the uh, princess from And just fuck the Holy Knights. Holy Knights has shown far that they're pretty much shitty. But so far for the weird thing, uh, like, yeah, Jericho is the only one that looks kind of like, intimidating and all that. But the other ones, they just honestly don't look like a fair at all. And, you know... Bugs, really? Bugs? Are like, that's what you're going to release onto them? Oh, fear us with the ho horrible holy night. We're going to fire bugs at you. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, <laughs> other than that, I really did enjoy this episode for the most part. Apart from that, yeah, these little villains and all that. But we did get to see another one of the, like, Seven Deadly Sins. We also did get to see some awesome backstory and some Diane awesomeness. So I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 this week. I really did enjoy it. But let me know what you think of the conversation down below. But that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time.